Hello. Welcome to wonderful Allerton Park. We love it here. This Our is home away from home. Yes, we like to run away, and the internet doesn't always it doesn't work here, so it's kind of a positive. Uh, so this is interview number cuatro with the president of Campfire Contra. Campfire Concepts. And we are gonna find out where the heck he's been. In the last two weeks, because we haven't done this for a couple weeks. I don't know if you remember the awesome truck interview. So, Jared, yes. he's taken me on some of the trips this time. Yes. So where, so right now we're at Allerton, checking out the new Greenhouse Cafe, was why we came. Yes. What do you think? Surprisingly, uh, for being such a small cafe in the middle of nowhere, there was a lot of people. Yeah, it's been really busy actually. Yeah, so that was exciting to see that there was a number of people coming and enjoying that. They also seemed to have some really popular sandwiches. I wasn't expecting sandwiches, I was expecting more coffee. Yes, me too. I didn't realize that there would have been lunch. Yes. That we could have gotten lunch stuff. That was just gonna be coffee and pastries. Turkey, cranberry. Sounds like it's. What the did she so say? Far. Three, three, three to, to one. one. That's what she's been saying. Yep, that's what yep. she's been saying. So come get the turkey cranberry. Yes. Awesome. Uh, the other place Jared did take me in the last two weeks was up to Port Washington, Wisconsin. What did we do there? We enjoyed going to Rotary Park, which is right on Lake Michigan, in Wisconsin. I would highly recommend going there. Cute little port city, if you want to call that, on the Great Lakes. The thing that was really cool about it was that it had this historic coffee shop that's been there for a long time. That seems to be our theme this time. This interview brought to you by coffee shops. <laughs> yeah, but Smith Brothers Coffee, and they sell Collectivo, which is made in Milwaukee. Well, at least roasted in Milwaukee. Anyways. Right. Very good, very tasty brand. And the cool thing about the park, I think, that I noticed while I was there was it's like this it's not only a tourist attraction because it's right on the water, but it's a cultural hotspot. So there was a lot of uh, history displayed there about the fishing industry mm. and just kind of highlighting what happened to the industry, why it left, and then having statues to honor where they've come from as a city. And then they had this really cool gazebo, not unlike what we are in right now. I how much you can see. But the gazebo itself, uh, when we were walking oh, by, there was the camera a... wants you to go see the garden. Nice. Check What's out up? the food dogs. What's up, camera? So, <laughs> inside of the gazebo was a woman that was painting plain air, which means what, Jesse? It means that you're painting on location. Yes. And it's very intriguing to me. Uh, Carolyn Goldsmith from here in Monticello, actually. That's the first person I had heard of ever doing that, so I've been following her work. So, she comes back multiple days trying, this woman did This at, woman did in, in yeah. Port Washington oh, to get losing it. better clouds and different colors that she could pull out of the lake. But to think that a park, not only was a place for people to walk and <coughs> uh, be an attraction for the community, for tourists, but they cared about, shared about history and made space for art and culture. For people to create it. Which is pretty neat too. Yeah. Yeah. So, what else has been going on the last couple weeks? Well, I see you brought a yeah. prop this week so and I didn't even know it. So last week I was part of... <laughs> oh, that's bright. Yeah. That's the point. Okay. <laughs> bike to work on? month. Oh yeah, May. Yeah. Sweet. So, bike to work, bike to school, bike to worship, all that kind of stuff. And the shirt this year is yellow. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It's focusing on <laughs> Vision Zero, which means they're trying to help you out with a term you may not have heard before. Lawyers like to say the word conspicuity. I've never heard that word before. It's a good thing to teach your patrons, helping them understand as they bike on your trails and around your community that it's important to be as visible as possible. Mm. Say it with me, kids. Compiscuity. Compiscuity. You so, didn't say it with me. I just said it by myself. The importance of it is <laughs> <laughs> you're visible. So if perchance you would get in some kind of an accident, the driver would then have no fault of saying that you, they could not see you. Oh, if you were wear oh, wearing that color. So having things like 
a very bright shirt, bright helmet, lights on the front and back of your bicycle. Um, some people even have reflectors that they put on their ankles that when you spin they reflect in the lights of car vehicles. There's lots of other ways that you can make yourself very visible on the road. And it's not only important for you to be seen so you don't get hit, but if for some godforsaken reason a vehicle did happen to tag you while you're out on the road, on the trail, Like these really loud whatever. buses, Jared? Oh. I try to stay away from buses as much yeah, as possible. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's why I don't bike in winter. Mm. Just slip the buses. I wouldn't want to end under the wheels of a bus. Okay, Not awesome. Not very fun. Okay. Anyways, teach your patrons to be visible while they're out on your bike lanes, on your, on your trails. Education is a key to upping the amount of people that are interested to feel safe when they're out biking in your community. Sweet. Anywhere else? What, what do you got? Oh, Young Mitchell starts next Monday. He does. Yeah. On Wednesday, he's going out to the Champaign County Forest Preserve District. I think that week. Yes. No, Thursday. And he's going to take photos, headshots. Oh, so you guys will get to see the, the work maybe next Thursday? No, we won't be able to go with. But you'll get to see that soon. Board members. Watch out where your nice staff. Nice stuff. He's in the business of making people look them and for you. Sweet. Anything else you got to tell your people? Just say, love you. We're getting really sensitive here. Spring. Love is in the air. Yeah. In the last two weeks, guys, it went from winter to summer. Pretty awesome. And come out to Allerton. Yeah. We heard in the news, you know, our friend Dr. Nuno Rabiro was uh, reporting on how overcrowded Starved Rock is. That just means that you should forget about going there, maybe, and come down south a little bit more to Allerton and enjoy a place that's just as beautiful but less crowded. It's pretty great. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.